In this final episode of the series, I will be answering exclusive questions about being stuck. Question 1. So Lev, did you get unstuck? Yes, actually I did. It wasn't easy, and I hated every minute of it, but I did do it. 2. And how did you get unstuck? Very simple. I forced myself. I made myself do stuff even though I didn't feel like it. Once I got sick of trying to decide my purpose and realized I didn't give a rat's ass about finding my North Star, I figured I had nothing to lose in just getting up and doing shit. I know it sounds logical to find motivation to start working, but it worked a hell of a lot better for me to start working to find motivation. I'd love to tell you that in my darkest hour, inspiration hit me like a thunderbolt while I was reading poetry on the bus, but that only happens in shitty made-for-TV movies that I don't want to see. 3. How should you ask for support when you're stuck? In a perfect world, I guess you would just tell your friends that you're in a rough spot mentally, that you're having a hard time seeing things clearly, and ask them to bear with you while you sort it out. I should probably mention that I don't ever do this shit. I always worry that people will think I'm a burden and that I'm treating them like they're my therapist and they'll stop answering the phone because they don't want me to dump any more of my problems on them, so I usually keep this stuff to myself. To answer your question, it depends how much you trust your friends and maybe how much you trust yourself. Question 4. How do you know that this won't be the last time that you get stuck? Um, I actually totally know this won't be the last time I get stuck. I have come to recognize that in this process, a peak is almost always followed by a valley, or if you're me, a spark of inspiration is usually followed by a dumpster fire. I'm guessing this never really ends until you decide it's not worth it to go for the peak because you just don't want to bother dealing with the valley that will come afterwards. I guess that's when you know it's all over. 5. Is there a useful scale and remedies for different levels of stuckness? There probably is a scale, but I seriously doubt it's useful. Question 6. How do you plan on preventing yourself from getting stuck in the future? I'm still trying to figure that out, but I will probably start with trying not to do totally stupid shit that I know doesn't work. For one, when things are going well, I can start feeling like it's okay to kick back and coast for a while, and that's usually when I lose my focus and sink. Another thing that doesn't work is when I take things too seriously, because when I do, I tend to reject a lot of thoughts and ideas because they're not serious enough. I hate it when I do this because everything I've ever done when I was trying to be serious sucks. Question 7. How are you feeling now that you're unstuck? That's really hard to say. Before, I was feeling moody and negative and utterly listless. Now, I'm still feeling moody and negative, but slightly more productive. But who cares? It's an improvement. I hope you enjoyed this little mini-series. Tales of Mere Existence is funded entirely by viewers like you. You can chip in too at my Patreon page here. Share and enjoy.